the whole world, that song can mean only one thing, the Billy Graham sound. Sixteen years ago, when Billy Graham first came to Scotland, East Kilbride here was a village in the process of becoming a new town. A process which was causing here as much discussion and as much argument as the All Scotland Crusade which he led. Well, whatever the merits or demerits of mass evangelism, whatever the efficacy of any kind of crusade, the underlying intention is to confront human beings with the claims of Christ. And evangelism, like Christian hymns, takes many forms. The hymn we're going to sing next comes from the 12th century. It was written by a man who, as a boy of eight, was orphaned, his father slain in the First Crusade, by Bernard of Clairvaux, Jesus, the very thought of thee. It's uncommon for songs of praise to feature only one congregation and its church. Usually this is a community venture involving the choirs and congregations of several churches. Well, it's not as if Moncrief Parish Church doesn't have a wider community around it, for East Kilbride is now a thriving township around the 70,000 mark and includes some 15 churches, relations among which are excellent. However, such is the pressure of numbers on these congregations and certainly in this one, that we haven't been able to get all the folk of Moncrief in here, let alone anybody else. Then again, this church has an unusually evangelistic style, which undoubtedly stems from its minister, the Reverend David McLagan. David McLagan was a history student at Cambridge when he first met Billy Graham, and it was this meeting which in fact started him on the path to this ministry. Naturally then, gospel songs are sung here, but they don't by any means replace the music of the Church of Scotland, music which includes the metrical psalms. These psalms, of course, form a major part not only of the tradition, but indeed of the very soul of our national church. Here, for example, are the magnificent last two stanzas of Psalm 24. Ye gates, 
Lift up your heads on high. As I was pointing out to you, this church has an evangelical flavor, and one of the outward signs of this is the team, a group of young people who sharpened their musical talents in the service of the Church of Scotland's seaside missions. Missions which have, over the years, carried the message of the church to holidaymakers, and more particularly to the children of holidaymakers, at our seaside resorts. Here then are the team with something of a holiday sound. Open up them pearly gates. Thank you. 
Music has always been a very important feature of evangelical witness, and no group has realized this more keenly than the Billy Graham organization and its associated evangelists. I feel I can express the delight of the congregation here tonight that three of these evangelists have flown from the United States to take part in this program. Cliff Barrows, the organization's song leader and ours, George Beverly Shea, the famous singer, and John Innes, their own pianist. Here then is Beverly Shea with a very old Negro spiritual, Steal Away to Jesus. an ebb and flow to evangelistic movements, moments of great tide that sweep in converts, and then the love when so many of them drift back to their old ways, their old apathies. Here's a hymn now by one convert who did not drift back, a hymn which he entitled first for the anniversary day of one's conversion. We know it by another name, Charles Wesley's Oh for a Thousand Tongues to Sing My Great Redeemer's Praise.
is certainly a great delight for George Beverly Shea and John Innes and myself to be here with you people tonight in this Songs of Praise program. My, how you love to sing here in Scotland. And you know, our Christian faith is a singing faith. And when the minister, Reverend David McLagan, who is a good friend of ours, asked us to come, we considered it a great privilege to be here and be a part of this service. We first met Reverend Mr. McLagan 17 years ago at Herringay when he committed his heart and life to the Lord Jesus Christ and his life was changed. And he is one of 72 men now who are in the ministry as a result of that crusade. My own personal testimony could be summed up in the words of the psalmist David who said, Though sing unto the Lord a new song, for he hath done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm hath gotten him the victory. And I'm thankful tonight for the song of the Lord in my heart. And you know, there are many songs that express the joy of the Christian's walk with the Lord. We've been singing some of them tonight. And one of the favorites, a traditional spiritual that Billy Graham often asks Bev Shea to sing, is the one that he sings for you now, Row, Jordan, Row. Bev? To go to heaven when I die to hear Jordan roll. Roll, Jordan roll, roll, Jordan roll. I want to go to heaven when I die to hear Jordan roll. Oh, brothers, you ought to have been there. Yes, my Lord, a sitting in the kingdom to hear Jordan roll. Roll, Jordan roll, roll, Jordan roll. I want to go to heaven when I die to hear Jordan roll. Oh, preacher, you ought to have been there. Yes, my Lord, sitting in the kingdom to hear Jordan roll. Roll, Jordan roll, roll, Jordan roll. I want to go to heaven when I die. grace, how sweet the sound. They were meaningful words, the ones I read in the small churchyard at only near London, where the composure of this great hymn of faith was laid to rest. Inside the church, his pulpit, outside on his stone, this inscription, John Newton, Clark. Once an infidel and libertine, a servant of slaves in Africa, was by the rich mercy of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, reserved, restored, pardoned, and appointed to preach the faith he had long labored to destroy.
Thank you, Beverly Shea. Since men first started to write hymns, they've used as one of their ideas the army of the Lord. The analogy with warfare which says that every Christian is a soldier in the army of the master, fighting beneath the banner of the cross to establish Christ's kingdom in the hearts and minds of all mankind. This is an idea very much to the forefront of the thought and the songs of any evangelistic movement. You can think of William Booth and the Salvation Army. And here again are the team with just such a song. Sound the battle cry. After this next hymn, the blessing will be given by the Reverend David McLagan, and we'll close with the best known of all metrical psalms, The Lord's My Shepherd. Before that, however, we sing a hymn which has been described as the finest hymn in the English language, a hymn which speaks of the overwhelming wonder of the cross, the love so amazing, so divine, by Isaac Watts, When I Survey the Wondrous Cross.
grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of his Holy Spirit be with each one of you this night and forevermore. Amen.